Oh, it's Pride Foundation Australia. Hello. Hi, look, I'm with Pride Foundation Australia. We're a volunteer-run philanthropic fund supporting those most disadvantaged groups in our community. Yep. We funded groups in homelessness, disability, refugee and asylum seekers, and also many small start-up community groups through our small grants program. Such important services that you give. Well, we, we think it's important, well, it's one that was not met, so we as a group of volunteers got together and formed the organisation. So Pride Foundation Australia, is that like, it's like a, a, an umbrella type situation where you join with other groups to, how does it how work? Yes, well we find that in, within mainstream philanthropy they fund very few LGBTI projects. So what we often do is work in our project areas with disability, say, and then we work with other philanthropic groups who, who contribute to disability space, but we emphasise with them the need for funding in the, in the LGBTI disability area. So you've got a, a company that wants to donate money or donate to a cause, and they can donate to our cause, and you will then give them the endorsement of having the Pride Foundation Australia badge on their Yes. Notif uh, not notification, uh, certification. That's right, so we have a funding arrangement for a number of commercial organisations. They go through a vetting process, a, a committee which vets them. Um, and um, that's been very successful both for the organisation and ourselves. Often those, often those groups are driven by their pride, pride committees um, within their yes. companies. So yes. the Pride committees have been very important to us. Of course. So if anyone that's watching this out there can contact you how? Yes. If you go to our website, proudfoundation.org.au, yes. and you'll find there the phone number for contacts, an email address, and more information to join our mail list. Lovely. Thank you for talking to me. Thank you for the opportunity. You have a happy midsummer. Happy midsummer to you and all your audience. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. Oh, what have we got here? Chill Out Festival. Ah, oh, the Chill Out Festival's coming up. Hello. 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 So, no, you're right. All the families here. That's right. Is that Country Life? You're you advertising the Country Life, are you? Yes. In Dalesford. Chill Out Festival. Yes. in Dalesford in the long weekend in March every year. And that's just after Mardi Gras, isn't it? Straight after Mardi Gras. And we're into our 26th year of festival this year. Ooh. There's 54 events over four days. So what sort of things happen at Chilla? I personally haven't been. Chilla, we have the famous uh, parade on the Sunday morning. Yes, which is like a, a little country mini Mardi Gras parade. Massive. Last year there was 8,000 people watching from the sidelines. Yeah. Then on Sunday it goes into our carnival day, which is headlined by Kate Miller Heidke this year. Yeah. There's also dance parties on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. There's a lot of activity going on here. <laughs> um, so yeah, the, it's our longest, um, Australia's longest running regional queer festival. How long has it been running for? 26 years. Oh wow, that's a, that's older than me. <laughs> and me too. Only just. Yeah. We're only 27, mind yeah, you. Yeah, exactly. That's all right. Yeah. <laughs> all right, well, that's good. really cool. Everything's on the website. So what is the website? Do you know it off by heart? The uh, website is www.chilloutfestival.com.au. Lovely. Love your work. Thank you very awesome. much for talking to me. No Happy worries. midsummer. You too. Have a good day. Thank you. You too. See ya. Bye. Sorry for yelling the That's all right. <laughs> It's all it's all part of the atmosphere. <laughs> okay, so where's who next? <sighs> Accurate destiny readings, thirty dollars for thirty minutes. Um, I don't think I want to know my destiny right now, to be honest. But I do appreciate the enjoyment of it all. Now that's a fan. That's definitely a fan. I love that. Pin buds. Okay. Hi. Hello. Hi, how are you going? You look very friendly. I love the flowers in your hair. Thank you. Thank so, you. so you're what, preaching love? 
<laughs> love raw. What, what, what is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're releasing. Um, we release love from the third realm. Well, we release a lot of stuff from the third realm, including healing energy. And so. I oh, see. So um, you're spiritual healers. Yeah. Oh, lovely. And spiritual readers as well. But oftentimes, in empowering people um, for their destiny or empowering people to step into the next part of their destiny, there's healing that's needed from trauma wow. or physical need healing. So I guess we love releasing hope to people. That's so the major part. all the all these people here reading people. Yeah. I mean, I don't want to yeah, yeah. intrude on their privacy, yeah. but we are in a public space. Yeah, yeah. Um, so are they all reading people and what is it, like tarot and all sorts of things? Yeah, look, we have our own card modalities. Yeah, but we do. It's the same principle. Um, I think what differs is we're really strict about just drawing from the third realm. Yeah. It's, a realm it's a realm of peace. Goodness. I was about to ask, what is the third realm? Well, um, let's, on our realm cards, first realm is everything physical up into the universe. Yeah. Yes. Second realm is the spirit realm as well, beyond time, but there are angels and entities in that realm. Yes, that are very close to the physical realm. Yeah. And for those people who are aware, it's like the cosmic Star Wars. So um, there are entities due to an ancient cosmic history that are not beneficial to humanity, but they will give you information to suck you in. Yeah, yeah. So, and there are beings in the third heaven realm too, and that's the highest realm, that's the realm of authority. So that's what we draw from, yeah, and so I love it. Oh, that's interesting. So are there more realms than just three? I don't know, those are the main realms. Okay. So we, we love to just um, inform people of that, just to help people be informed about that. Is that a, it's just a way of being able to classify certain energies and be aware yeah, it can where be. things are coming from. And uh, we fully believe that in to come, coming into maximum alignment, you do need to engage with the spirit realm. But it's, it's oftentimes a bit of a journey, just like we've got lots of channels, you know, to access movies. There are lots of channels in the spirit realm too. Ah, oh, absolutely. And people have got different powers to be able to tap into different areas. There's, look, there's lots of manifestations in the spirit, but we, we concentrate on mainly on the destiny reading. And the cool. So, are you like uh, an official group, or are you all independents come together, or? We are a group. We are a team. And what's the name of the group? Did you? It's called what is it? Chris. Crystal alignment. Yeah. Ah. The lady who heads it up. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, are you? Can do you have a website or anything? Can some yeah, people? We do. Can people contact you? How would they contact you? Just on their website, www.crystalalignment.com. I think. Yeah. Lovely. Thank you. Well, you might get some readings out of this. Some people out there might want to reach in and get some info. Yeah. And we, um, one thing I think which is really important, we, we love to have transformation happen. Yeah. Like anything can give you information, but oh, not all information is transformative. So yes. along with the information we bring, we love to bring the presence, we love to bring the transformation. Uh, so that it actually benefits, benefits you in some way, so that you learn from it. Yep. and move forward in a different yep. way. Yep. It's all very, been very interesting talking to you. Thank, Thank you. you. I'm really enjoying the diversity of subjects here. Yep. And I'm glad that I met you just to have that little conversation. That was great. Thank you. Well, thanks for, thanks for chatting to me. Thank you for chatting to me. Happy Midsummer. Okay. <laughs> See you later. That was great. Thanks. Okay. Good. Well, I just had a very interesting conversation with that lady off camera about the spirit of truth and uh, intuition and you know all sorts of things personally that I've felt throughout my life of a spiritual nature and stuff that she's experienced and it's just very very interesting how funny enough the, the things we're talking about aligned it's almost like we were destined to meet so now I'm destined to experience more of the Midsummer Carnival and I am <laughs> That guy had a t-shirt that said Butch Thick, spelled T-H-I-C, Butch Thick Lover. Okay, oh, this is nice, it's a bit of art, I like art. Learn Auslan. I love Auslan interpreters, love and gay community, I don't know what I'm doing. Where we can be seen. Yeah. Well, that's part of the story. Like,
How can? How can are you? Hello, young man. Hello. How are you? Oh, look at you with your pronouns, yeah. sir. What's what? He, him. <laughs> yeah, today, them. yeah. Freddie yes. Merkin. Oh, oh my God, I didn't recognise you. What do you mean? Oh my God. I know. I'm a bit understated today. I know. Oh, wow. How <laughs> Are cool. you having fun? Yeah, I am. Incredible. Are you having fun? Oh my gosh. What the most you, amazing midsummer. What are you doing here at this store? Planet Wellers. So, I'm, uh, I'm promoting our P&O Pride cruises. Did you hear about oh, that no. last year? Two cruises that went out of Melbourne and Sydney. Yes. A whole bunch full of gays. I heard about them at leaving Port yeah. Melbourne. Yeah. So we're doing another one at the end of this year in Sydney from Sydney and it's four days. Yes. So everyone's gonna have to train their livers. Yes. So when when's that departing? Uh 14th to the 18th of September. Cool. And Sydney. where's it go? It goes out to sea and yep. goes around in a bit of a square. Okay. <laughs> So, so we don't oh no, just actually, go for a ride on a boat no, no, and off you go. I tell a lie. I think with this one we're actually stopping off at an island somewhere and having a day party. Yeah. No, this one's the this one's for Sydney oh, World Pride. Oh, okay. Sydney Sunday Pride Cruise. We're doing Cruise. just an evening out on the harbour for Sydney World Pride. Oh, lovely. That's going to be fun. Twenty thirty. Uh, are all these on your website? They are. Right, so Planetwellers.com. They are oh, a Planet travel Dwellers. agent ah. in Oxford Street. Lovely. Because oh, we sorry. want to visit. Isn't that camp? Can I have that? Yes. I love that. Stick that on Thank your you. Oh, I'll show you the flyer. Yeah. Oh yes, the flyer. We need to see the flyer. Here we go. Pino Pride Cruises. Camp like the artwork too. The funnest time at sea. I love a bit of vector artwork. It's lovely, isn't I'm it? I'm a vector artwork yeah, illustrator. Yeah, great. Right. It's so fun. Yes. And, it's, and it's so this fun. is fun too, Freddie. Thank you. Yes, well, I'm the cruise director. So, how long does it take you to turn yourself into Freddie? Uh, I allow myself a couple of hours. Most guys just hop in the shower, a bit of, you know. I know, right? It takes a bit of work to look at you, you have a bit more work to do. Well, I never really wore makeup until I was a drag king. <laughs> <laughs> Ir irony, huh? <laughs> so, yeah. Took a little bit Loving the sparkle. Thank you. That's camp. Yeah, it's just, I mean, yeah. it's expensive, right? Fabulous. Yeah. And I Love in the chest. A bit sexy, I've I gotta say. I haven't shaved for a couple of days. So it worked out. <laughs> no waxing involved Christmas there. This was not bad to me either. Yeah, it's in the snail trap. <laughs> a bit of a bulge going on down there, I noticed. What do you mean, huh? I'm not gay at all. You're sweaty. <laughs> I know, right? Eyes up here. Eyes, eyes up, up here. here. I know. Amazing. You yes. have a fabulous I summer. I will. You too. Happy midsummer. Thank you. Summer. I'm melting in the sun. Are you yeah. melting? I'm okay. I'm, I'm not. <laughs> I will. Uh, I will seek shade. I need sunscreen. Go for it. <laughs> Thank yeah, you. So much. Uh, see ya. Oh, well, that was lovely. So what else have we got here? I don't know. Very nice boys. They wear love loops. Boys in bikinis. Gonna love a boy in a bikini. We're lovely. Spectacular dance event. Oh, how gorgeous. Very nice. Are you advertising something? Where Love Lives? What's Where Love Lives? Is that a, a crew? Very fun ride. Oh, where and when? Does anyone know? Can you can you tell me about Where Love Lives? So Where Love Lives is a um, dance parties event, and we hold parties here in Melbourne and Sydney. Yes. We have one coming up on Pride March Day. We actually have two. We have a day party and a night party. Oh, cool. We have international DJs and go back way with Sydney. Wow. So we have a viewing deck for the dance. Party, so you can watch the march go by. Yeah. And we used to be um, market. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so, so Spiro used to own the market here in Melbourne. So how, how do people, and I oh know Spiro, yes. Yep. How, how do people um, get involved? How do they get tickets? So they can go online and find Where Love Lives. Oh, I love that. Can I say that? Thank you, you so much. And we have our Midsummer. Oh, lovely. Yeah. A bit of art, I like art. art. Very nice. Thank you so much. Yep. So, they've got to go to the website, obviously. Yes, and website. Do you and know it off by heart? 
Um, you may have just said it, but say it again. It's we're love. It's www.wearelovelives.com.au. Lovely. So we've also got Raptor, which is cool. world. Oh, that's cool too. I love the artwork. Yes. That's Saturday the fourth of March. Oh, nice. Cool. Thank you so much for talking to me. Absolute pleasure. Everyone out there, get your tickets. Yes. Party's happening. Yes. And I love the logo too. Very yes. nice. Great t-shirt. Happy Midsummer. Happy Midsummer. Bye. Bye.